Hey everyone, I'm Akash and I'm back with another video. So friends, in this video, we are going to solve one or two JavaScript interview questions. So these questions were mainly asked for developers having three plus years of experience. So friends, before moving ahead, I just have a small request that if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe. And you can also connect with me like one to one connect uh, using this link. And I will also drop this link in the description box. Go check it out. And now let's get started. So friends, I hope the screen is visible and this was the first question that we are going to talk about. So we have an array, simple array and as you can see, each index in this array has a function and this function is returning a promise, a simple promise. So this is another function, this is another function. So now what you have to do is you have to like call these functions sequentially. Basically you have to call these promises sequentially. and don't think of it as a like you have to call these at, at the same time or parallelly using promise.all. We do not have to use promise.all because the problem statement is that we have to call them one after the other. So this function is returning a promise and it's returning a value of 10. And here you can see that this is taking a param. Basically, this is taking the value written by this function. So it is using that value over here. And now it is resolving 10 plus that particular value that is 10. Now again, after this after these two promises are uh, you know executed you are going to call this function and you are going to pass the value you have got from here and you are going to use that value over here so the final answer should be 30 so i hope the question is uh, like clear to you all now let's begin solving it so there could be like two approaches number one will be the iterative and number two could be the recursive so friends based on like uh, like what could be the basic intuition so what was my basic intuition is to run a loop and to solve this question like functions one by one so let's solve it using the basic intuition that is the iterative approach so what we can do is we can simply create a function like this we can call it and we can pass this uh, array over here and over here we can simply say it like promises now as i have told you all that my first intuition was iterative so we can do something like promise function of promises it's a simple loop good so now we have got this promise function like each of this index contains the function now what we can do to get the result we can simply call that sorry we can simply call that promise function something like this now as we all know it's returning a promise so what we can do is we can make use of await to get the result cool but to use the result we need to use async as well now what else we can do is um, as you can see these are the promise functions but over here you can also see that it takes a result of the previous promise so for that what we can do is uh, we know that this promise is going to return us some result so we have to store that result we are going to store it over here initially let's give it a value of null now we can simply do result equals the thing that it returns basically we are storing the result over here and we also need to pass the result to that promise function so that it can use it over here cool now finally what we can do is we can simply return the result something like this now over here we need to use dot then dot get as it's a async function and over here i'm simply going to pass the console.log so it will return me the result so as you can see we have successfully got 30. So this was the simple iterative solution that you can give to the interviewer. And it's a basic intuition also that to simply run a loop to call each of the function, function will return you a promise, you are going to show the result and you are going to pass that result to this promise function because it is being used over here again and again. So this is how you can call it sequentially. So this is the first approach that is calling it iterative. Now what we can do, we can simply call it in a recursive manner. So let's see how we can do that. So I have created one small function, execute promise over here and we can simply call it and we have to pass the array. So over here, it will also take the promises array plus it will take the index so that we can have the access to the particular function and second, it can also have the result. And over here, we can pass the initial index as zero and the initial result as null, something like this. Now what are you going to do? Now we have this promises error, sorry, promises array. And using this index, 
basically at that particular index we can get the uh, what we can get is particular function now we have to call it now when we have to call it as i have told you earlier that it takes the result and we also know that it's a uh, promise we all know it's a promise so it's gonna resolve or reject over here what we can do is we can simply make use of resolve something like this so till now what we have done is we have used this promise array and using the index 0 we are calling it we are passing the result that is initially null now now what we have to do we have to call the same function recursively and when we are calling the same function recursively what we have to do we have to do index plus 1 every time so what we can do is we can simply have this function over here and to this what we are going to do we are going to pass the promises we are going to do index plus 1 and we are going to pass the response that we are going to get something like this and we have to return it from here and we have to return the final result as well now over here what we have to do now as we all know we have simply called the promise and we are again calling it recursively and we are increasing the index by one but it needs to have a base case as well or else it will enter into infinite loop so the base case will be if promises dot length is equal equals to the index then we are going to return the result something like this okay so we can run it like we need to give it dot then and console dot log something like this so cool as we can see we have got the answer 30 so this was the recursive approach So friends this is the recursive approach and uh, this is mainly for all those people who love recursion okay and this one was the iterative so if i have to recommend you so do use this particular approach which is a simple loop and using simple loop we are solving it and but if you uh, have a you know better grasp over recursion then you can also use this recursive approach as well but for beginners i would recommend this iterative approach because um, uh, because if you have not practiced the recursive approach uh, when you are giving the interview then at that particular time it might happen that you end up in infinite loop or there is a lot of debugging required you know if anything goes wrong so that's why uh, but it depends upon it totally depends upon you whatever approach you want to use you can use so I hope both the approaches are clear and yes friends if you have learned something new then don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'm at least hoping for 50 likes do help me and yeah thank you for watching